Welcome back to the program today on our Low Country Live Author Spotlight. We welcome Emmy USC Professor of Medicine, Peter Cotton. And no, he's not named after a rabbit. More on that coming up. But he has written two children's books as well as his memoir, Tunnel at the End of the Light. We welcome Dr. Cotton to the program. Dr. Cotton, please, you have a very unique name. Let's get into that first, just so we can settle all the air right now. How did you, I mean, that's that's not something you find in society every day. Tell us about it. Well, I didn't realize I was, had a funny name until I moved to the United States. Right. I, I grew up in England. Uh, Beatrix Potter wrote the Peter Rabbit stories, but she wrote about Peter Rabbit and Flopsy and Mopsy and Cottontail, but she didn't write about Peter Cottontail. That's an American invention. Hmm. So it wasn't until I got over here that people started giggling when they heard my so name. So I'm sure everyone you're introduced to anybody, they recite that back to you. I tend to, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. That's fine, and uh, I, I enjoy it. Uh, I'm a, a child at heart, and we are, I've given lots of, got lots of rabbits at home. And mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you're obviously a very, very good sport about it. Let's uh, shy away from the kid stuff for a little bit, shall we? You are a 20 years professor of medicine at MUSC, and right. your career has taken you all over the world, and that's kind of what this new book is all about. Yes, I had the privilege of, of working at three institutions, really, one in London, uh, then at Duke University, and then most recently at MUSC. And I've been involved in the development in evolution teaching of the endoscopic procedures like colonoscopy, mm -hmm. which have become very popular, and as a result, got invited to travel all over the world. I've lectured in more than 50 countries. Wow. Uh, which has been very special. Indeed. It, so is this more of a, not a medical text, but more of something that uh, the layman should stay away from, or is it something that everyone can enjoy? I think everyone would enjoy it. There's a lot of stories about funny things happening, particularly early, in the early days mm -hmm. uh, when traveling was a lot more complicated. Um, stories about food and cricket and golf and uh, a lot of interesting stuff. Well, what compelled you to, to, to put this into words and, and tell your life story? Well, I, I like to uh, I give dinner lectures and I like to tell funny stories about what's happened to me and then suddenly my wife said, why don't you write all that stuff yeah, down? Yeah, put it all down, why not? And I wrote it down and then I started expanding that into what had happened in the early days and the friends I've met and uh, my, some of my comments about the world at large and it turned into a book. Now you're obviously very multi-talented because not only did you write the story of your life, you also wrote two children's books and you want to introduce us to uh, a special friend of yours today. Yeah, I brought Fred the Snake with me. That's Fred. That's Fred, yeah. Hey Fred. Uh, Good to see you, sir. Fred the Snake was actually, uh, I, I, I wrote a book about, I wrote about Fred the Snake when my children were small in mm -hmm. England a long time ago. Um, didn't do anything much with it apart from reading it to them until uh, they grew up and had children of their own and said, what happened to Fred? Right. I said, well, I've, Fred's uh, here somewhere. So I looked it out and we were able to find an illustrator. The first book is called When Fred the Snake is Squished and Mended. Uh-oh. And uh, I hope it has a happy ending. It does have a very happy ending, but it's very well illustrated by a beautiful uh, Canadian illustrator called uh, Bonnie Le Maire. And then I wrote the second one, which is called When Fred the Snake goes to school. Ah. And the third one is just building. Sure. Uh, about when Jungle Jim comes to visit Fred the Snake. And would you believe he's coming to visit Fred the Snake in Charleston? In Charleston. So, How about that? A little local tie-in right yeah, there. Yeah, with any luck. So, Good uh, stuff. Dr. Cotton, where can we get these books? They, they're at my website, Peter Cotton, PeterCottontails.com. <laughs> nice I, little play on words there. PeterCottontails.com. And I brought you a uh, a, a oh, fantastic. A, a little snake, a gummy snake for your... Fred, well, thank you so much. Dr. Cotton, welcome. thank you for being on the program. It sounds great. Check out that website for much more. Here we go. Getting a little <laughs> snake fight around here. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a moment. Okay. Thank Pleasure. You.